trying to stop a sneeze. You, you're good now? Okay. Um, who? Well, that's it. Hello and good morning. Welcome back to my channel. I am a patron of Gertie. And if you don't know who Gertie is, she is a designer that makes vintage patterns. And you can find a lot of her vintage patterns with Butterwick. You can also find a lot of her new patterns that she's been making on her Patreon. And what's so cool is it's from like, it's, I think it's $7. So I think the highest tier is like either 25 or I think. But what's so cool is she creates her own patterns, all vintage style, on her Patreon. And these patterns go up from like size zero. And I think recently she's making it so that her her new ones and her old previous patterns are now starting to go up to a size 34, I do believe. Which is fantastic because the current ones already fit. And I'm excited to see like how far she's willing to take this. And it creates such inclusivity in the community and I think what she's doing is amazing. I am not sponsored by Gertie but I definitely did get permission and it is hot in here. I apologize for my profuse sweating um, but I did get permission to be able to sew a pattern for you guys. I can't show you everything but I can definitely show you me putting it together and all what we usually do. So if you're interested in her Patreon I think the lowest tier is like seven dollars a month but like you get access to like all of her different patterns and this really cute stuff so yeah before further ado this is let me tell you the name this is the skipper the patterns are interchangeable so it all depends on what you want to make like this specific pattern has it so you can make it a bodysuit with like a scoop neck or bodysuit with like the barbie doll top barbie the barbie top or like puff sleeves everything is interchangeable and you can either make a dress or bodysuit or a shirt I chose to make a dress and this is a combination of two of her patterns so yeah I would definitely suggest going on there she has a lot of cute stuff and you're bound to find something that's kind of within your style something that can kind of make your style basically and it's all customizable great size range like chef's kiss it's so good so yeah but if you stay tuned I'm gonna show you how I made this dress and we'll go ahead and show the end reveal this is what the pattern looks like when you first get it. I can't show you everything, but I can show you the dress I'm working on and it's this one here. To achieve this look, I also had to get the Barbie top because that's what the top is. Can we talk about how cute this is? Like, I cannot wait to make all these tops. But specifically, this one here without any sleeves and with just the armband is the one I'm going for. Anyways, this top here needed to be cut out, as well as the skirt from the other pattern, all in the correct sizes. With the top, I thought it wouldn't fit because of the size range and how big my breasts are, so I decided to alter it like this in this book. As you can see here, this is the way that I altered it, adding about, I do believe, half an inch to the breast start and tapering it off at the waist so I wouldn't add any more extra width to the waist. Looking at the top of the skirt, you can see it will tell you where to tape your top. I love the amount of small details and information she gives in her pattern so it's not confusing. So I took my altar top and taped the skirt to the top at the waistline as so. Let's talk about fabric. My fabric is a knit fabric with a green and black snakeskin design. It has small specks of a reddish gray taupe in it as well. After I cut my dress pattern out of this, I also cut the neckband and the armband in a black jersey fabric. Starting with the dress, I matched the legs of the dart together and pinned the dart matching the markings on the other side. I then stitched with a narrow zigzag stitch. You'll find in this pattern it suggests different widths for each zigzag stitch depending on what part you're sewing. I did the same with the dart on the other side. I then took both the front dress pieces, right sides together, pinning them and stitching at the shoulder. I did the same thing with the side seam, all with a slightly wider zigzag stitch. Taking the armband, I matched them right sides together and stitched following the shape of the cut pivoting at the point with a zigzag stitch. I then trimmed the seam and pressed the seam open. Matching the seam wrong sides together, I pinned the armband all the way around and base stitched with a zigzag stitch. I 
took it to the dress and matched the band to the sleeve right sides together, matching the notches inside, and stitched it in, stretching just a little. After doing the same thing to the other sleeve, I then moved on to the neckband, which was basically put together in the same way as the armband, which required sewing the ends together, trimming it, which I did make a mistake of trimming too close, don't do that, and then I trimmed, pressed, and base stitched it wrong sides together. Pinning the neckband in required pinning them at four points, matching the front and back notches, and then the side notches match the shoulder seam. There will be a lot of extra room in between, but that's because you need to stretch as you sew it. So as I sewed it, I stretched it. So here's some awkward footage of me trying to do that in film and not being able to see, but you get the general idea. The last thing for me to do was to hem the bottom of the skirt, which was at 5 eighths of an inch, turned up into the inside. This was probably the quickest I've ever sewn anything in my entire life, and it come out successful. This was really easy and beginner friendly. If you are new to sewing and you want to start working with like knits, this is something really fashionable, really cute to do, and you know, it kind of helps build your skills. I had no problem with this fitting. Um, my chest altogether is 54 inches and according to like her size chart with like the finished garment it was supposed to be 52 so I was just kind of like why did I say 54 54 pattern was 52 so I you saw in the video where I did alter it a little bit and all honesty I didn't need that at all and I actually ended up taking that out later when it started to gape a little bit when I took it out it was fine so the stretch gives you a bit of leeway and a little bit of ease so that like it's not stretching and it didn't actually ruin my pattern because that's what I was worried about was ruining the snakeskin pattern that's going on in this fabric. Here's the finished product. You've already seen it on me but here's the full view. Um, I love this freaking fabric. Like it was easy to deal with. It didn't unravel on me like it was super freaking easy to work with and super cute like I'm feeling fierce and strong it's it's just nice <laughs> um, I paired the dress with this clutch that I made and a dark lip because I felt like a brown would have been just too toned down and I wanted something to give like a pop so I paired it with this black lip all in all I love this fabric this fabric came from this fabric came from Joanne's Fabrics. It was part of their Ember collection about a year or two ago. And I have to say it's, it was pretty nice, pretty good quality. Um, I just feel sophisticated and fierce. Like this is the style that I've always wanted. Like it's got a little bit of vintage in it, but yet at the same time it's like sophisticated, like a, like a little dash of urban. But like this is kind of what I wanted. Like this is my vibe. This is why I like fall. But yeah, that's it. It was super easy super simple beginner friendly i have a piece of hair in my lip it's getting on my nerves um but yeah on a side note for halloween because spooky season is coming and i feel a sneeze coming as well um spooky season is here and i have a halloween costume coming up and i don't know if i have enough time between that and now i may or may not put out a video depending on what it might be i, I don't know yeah so right now this video is coming out and then I don't, I'm not 100% sure if another video is going to come out between now and between the 18th of October because I'll have five videos coming out back to back between the 18th and the 29th. So for those two weeks I'll have five videos coming out all after one another for a complete Halloween costume. So get excited. So there may or may not be a video. If there's not one, don't worry. I haven't disappeared. I have a costume coming up. It's going to be cute. I'm excited for you all to see it. If you have any questions or any suggestions for any patterns you'd like to see me try to upsize or fumble through like I do everything else, um, please leave them in the comments below. Please be as nice as possible. And if you do this or make it, please be sure to tag me on Instagram under so maniacal. 
I am also on Instagram under so maniacal Jacqueline and you can look me up follow if you like make sure that you subscribe if you're new here I fumble through patterns once a month twice a month depending on how quickly I fumble through it and yeah I just basically upsize and sew things so welcome to my channel we're cool here I guess <laughs> Um, but yeah, please make sure that you subscribe and like this video and if you would please and yeah I appreciate everyone that's here everybody that watched. I hope you all have a wonderful week and Yeah, that's it. I do believe I will see you folks next time. I want to have a happy spooky season Woo! <laughs>